So the new inflation data is out and it's not pretty. During April, the consumer price index was 9% higher than the same month last year. The retail price index, which used to be the official measure, also including housing costs, was 11.1% up since April 2021. And for many lower-income households who spend a high share of their incomes on food and fuel, the prices of which have rocketed, of course, the genuine rise in the cost of living over the last year is a lot higher than even these headline numbers. For many millions across Britain, this cost of living crisis is now biting. There are increasingly angry calls for the government to do more to help cash-strapped households. Rishi Sunak's spring statement back in March is now widely viewed to have been deeply inadequate. The Chancellor raised taxation while increasing benefits by just 3.1%, far less than inflation, cutting the living standards of some of the most UK's most vulnerable households at a crucial time. Even before war in Ukraine, inflation was already 5.5% in Britain, way above the Bank of England's 2% target. But this ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict and the related economic war between West and East has sent fuel and food prices soaring. Russia and Ukraine between them ordinarily account for around a quarter of the world's total wheat exports. Supplies of wheat, barley and a host of other food produced by these nations are now partially blocked through shipping embargoes or war. That's why the Governor of the Bank of England yesterday warned of what he called apocalyptic food price rises. Having underestimated the speed with which inflation would rise, the government's now under increasing pressure to act. Labour's calling for an emergency budget, of course, and ministers don't want to be seen bowing to pressure. But as price pressures build, what's politically uncomfortable uncomf- may have to give way to what's politically necessary. New support measures, even a windfall tax on the large energy companies. This spiralling cost of living crisis means everything is back on the table. And that's our On The Money question today. Will the government announce emergency support measures to counter the cost of living squeeze? <laughs> 